In this video, we're going to talk about breast milk and vitamin D. This is a very important video if you are pregnant or you are currently breastfeeding, okay, or if you have an infant. Here's the data and the most important thing you need to know. Breast milk contains very small amounts of vitamin D. One cup of breast milk only will give you 1% of the RDA for vitamin D. And vitamin D is vital for your immune system, bone formation, sleep. It's anti-spasmodic. It prevents spasms of muscle. And there's a thing called subclinical rickets. All right, what causes rickets? One of the main causes of rickets is vitamin D deficiencies. You can also have rickets from low calcium or low phosphorus, but vitamin D is the most common cause of rickets. And some of the symptoms of rickets would be uh, your bones become very soft, you get bowed legs, okay? You get knock knees. Scoliosis is a symptom of rickets. Retarded growth, all sorts of dental malformations. Vitamin D is essential in preventing autoimmune conditions, preventing respiratory infections. Now there's one article, which I'll put a link down below, which is quite interesting. 44 randomly selected infants with lower respiratory infection were evaluated for subclinical rickets. Seven of the 44 had subclinical rickets, which I think is a very high percentage. And one of the ways they can diagnose it is through malformation of the bones in your wrist because vitamin D is essential in growing bones. And if you're deficient, you're going to have malformation in the growth of your bones. But all 44 infants with respiratory infections all had low vitamin D levels. And how many infants get respiratory infections? very common. How many infants can't sleep? Now, as far as anti-spasm goes, what about colic? Okay. So an infant that is colicky basically has a spasm in the smooth muscle in the digestive system. And there's a huge connection between vitamin D deficiencies and having that symptom. This problem is very easily solved by giving the mother who is breastfeeding some cod liver oil. I would recommend a high quality virgin cod liver oil and consume that on a regular basis or get some sun. And you also have vitamin D from other sources too, fatty fish like uh, salmon, sardines. I'll put a link down below for more information on where you can get your vitamin D, but cod liver oil is one of the best sources. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. So uh, vitamin D deficiencies can create soft bones, knock needs, bone legs. What? God, you freak me out, man.